Hey guys, welcome to day 164 of my carnivore journey. I can't believe how time has been going, guys. Really, it has been, it feels like a long time, but at the same time, not. It's like quick, but I feel like, oh my God, I got so far to go. And yes, I've been losing weight and things like that. I'm curious to see what happens when we get to the six month mark, day 180. Um, we're only like, what? 16 days away now, like two weeks, pretty much a little over two weeks. Um, today for my update today, uh, for lunch, I had two hot dogs and, um, but yeah, I had two beef hot dogs for lunch and then for dinner, um, I, you guys probably saw the thumbnail. I'm going to use the uh, one pounder. So my one pounder is back. And let me tell you, my one pound burger, I missed it. I haven't had it in a while, as you guys probably noticed. Um, for those of you that follow me daily, you probably noticed I haven't been having a one pound burger in a while. And that was like my thing, right? Um, but it's going to come and go. Like you'll have your times when the one pounder is, you know, what you want. Um, or like, you know, like ground beef or whatever. Anyways. So I actually warmed up some of the, uh, that beef broth, like leftover chuck roast juice, um, where I remember I blended some of the meat, the trimmings and put it all in that. Like, so yeah, I warmed that up and use it as like a dipping sauce for the burger. And man, that was so good. Like, cause I took a bite of the burger and I'm like, okay, yeah. Uh, burgers taste good and then second bite I, I was like well let me dip it in you know the dipping sauce let me just try this because it, it's not it wasn't thick like a gravy but it wasn't real thin it was just in between there so again like a dipping sauce so I did it I was like "Ooh, man like all that chuck roast there was even some bacon hint of bacon in there um, just all that goodness, right? Oh man. And it just made the burger. And I ended up every single bite after that was all dipped. And then I got like a, the last third of the burger. I just took the juice and just poured it, <laughs> just poured it on top on the plate on the burger and everything. Um, and, uh, it was just so good. So good. So, so yeah, I had a pound of ground beef and I had, um, my uh, two hot dogs. Now I, I did want to talk a little bit about, Oh yeah. And as far as like poop goes um, back to regular, just plain old poops, you know, nothing major, no, no big, huge poops, no uh, diarrhea or anything like I said. So, I mean, again, if you guys are worried about your regularity or whatever, I mean, you'll be fine. Trust me. Um, but anyways, I wanted to talk about being uncomfortable. And, and what I mean by that is that you are going to want to not always be comfortable in your diet, in your habits. And what I mean by that is like, it's, it's kind of okay to get into a routine as you guys, again, if you follow me, you know that. I tend to be fairly routine, but I still try to mix it up. Um, I, I try to break that routine every so often. And what I mean by that is you don't always have to have a lunch. Maybe you're going to wake up one day. Maybe you're going to want breakfast. You might wake up on a weekend or something and be like, man, I'm in a mood for some breakfast. Have breakfast. Right. You don't always have to just like one meal a day or two meals a day or, you know, whatever it is, you can change it up a little bit. And that actually is good for your body. I even heard that if even if you're doing OMAD, if you keep it predictable every day, your body will adjust and it won't necessarily fast, do the intermittent fasting the way you it should be because your body gets in a routine and kind of knows that, okay, so you are going to have to sort of trick your body up every so often. 
Um, again, there's no science behind this <laughs> that I know of, but, um, and I could be wrong if I am, I'm sure you guys will tell me, but for the most part, it seems as if based on everybody's comments and their stories, it does seem like, you know, you want to break up your, your routine, but also too, I've noticed like when you get in a routine, the other tricky thing is like, like today I didn't need the hot dogs, but I have been getting kind of in a routine where I, and you guys probably, again, the ones that follow me regularly, you'll notice I've been eating a lot of like hot dogs for lunch, which again, part of me not preparing my hard boiled eggs like I used to do. But the, I thought about it and you don't necessarily always want to be in that routine because I really don't think I was hungry for those hot dogs. It just was like, well, you know, it's about that time and I'm passing that gas station. Let me just go ahead and get them since I'm here. And you know what I mean? So that's why I'm saying you, you don't necessarily want to get in that Okay, it's this time I, I need to eat. Oh, it's this time I need to eat. Let your body tell you that. Now, there is a little bit of caveat with that. And, and what I mean by that is I can't I can't just wait until I'm hungry for dinner. Because unfortunately, um, if I was to kind of like wait, I mean, like I obviously I have to have a certain window of opportunity to make dinner, right? And I and I work a lot. I have I don't have a lot of opportunity, so I have to make sure that I do eat dinner in between X amount of time. But I guess what I'm saying is pretty much things around that, or if you can shift your dinner sometimes, or maybe you may want to go um and do like a 24 hour fast or something, you know, or 48 hour fast or something. You know, maybe skip a meal every once in a while, throw your body into into a little bit of like what and in, into in some different timing or eat twice a day or three times a day, maybe once or something. You know, again, listen to your body, though. So there's that compromise. You have to listen to your body, but then also do make sure you're 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 taking care of yourself. Uh, but I just thought I'd talk about that a little bit because I just thought about that with the hot dogs and, and it makes sense. Cause again, you can start getting into routines and that's one thing, even back when I was doing the fat guy stuff, when I was eating the sad diet and I would get into these routines where, you know, I would try to get something at lunchtime when I'm out, you know, at my one job, then I would come home and eat. And then when I would go to my second job, I would try to have even more food from the gas station. And then at the end of that night, at the end of everything, on the way out of town, I would try to hit Taco Bell or Crystals or something, you know, like these fast food places that were still open at that time of night. So I would end up eating like four times in the day and all with a lot of calories and then go home and go to sleep. So again, nothing healthy about what I used to do, right? That's again, why I ended up in bad shape, but it was like routines also. So sometimes I just felt obliged to follow those routines just because. So the same thing can apply even with carnivore. It's like, you know, if you're not hungry and you get to that lunchtime and you like, oh, I really don't feel like I need to eat. And you think about your stomach and you feel pretty solid and, and you don't really feel like you're you're starving to death, then don't eat. Or again, if you wake up on some mornings and you're like, you know what, I could go for some breakfast, but I normally kind of wait until lunch. I normally do this. Like, listen to your body. If you're really hungry in the morning, eat. You know, let let your body sort of dictate at, at the right times. Again, if you're busy and you can't, you know, again, you're going to have to be the ultimate judge of your schedule and things like that. But if you have a little leeway, and even me, I work, what, three jobs. So there is some leeway from time to time where I can shift things up. Even like on the weekends, I can shift things up. And sometimes I'll eat early. Sometimes I'll I'll have my dinner two, three o'clock in the afternoon, or I'll have an, like a brunch or something. And I'll tell you guys, you know, and that's when I usually tell you, like, yeah, a few eggs in the morning, whatever. It's not often, 
but you just want to change up your routine every once in a while. So that's all I really had for you today. I hope that helps you guys. Again, if you have any struggles, anything, I'd like to hear from you guys in the comments. I love hearing from you guys. Uh, if you're new here, I, I hope you stick around. And of, of course, always, you know, guys, I got to mention all carnivoreinfo.com. You know, I'm again, it's growing. We're adding more and more stuff almost every day. So send your people when I've already been, you know, when I run into people in real life and they're starting to notice my weight loss, they're like, man, you know, I, and people are starting to tell me that now. And they're like, well, man, I haven't seen you in a while. You, you know, you've lost weight. They're like, what are you doing? And now I'm telling them. And I said, look, I can't give you two years of knowledge of, of all the videos and testimonials, but go to all carnivore info and I'll even like write it down for them or text it to them or whatever, all carnivore info. And you can like go down the rabbit hole. You can learn everything you need to know supplies, everything that you need just about is there to get you going. And you're going to see all the testimonials, all the stuff. So it's easy to kind of explain that to them and send them there. So anyways, guys, all right, so you guys have a great night. I will see you tomorrow as we inch another day closer to the six-month goal. And then it's measurements and weigh-in, day 180. Ugh. All right, guys, bye.